Girls, don't tell guys your body count. They always care, even if they say they don't. If you're not a virgin, they're probably not going to marry you. Be smart about this. If they're asking you, they're going to use it against you. You don't owe anyone any information about your life. Get the French toast out of here. <sighs> These women keep giving bad advice, y'all. Be dishonest in the beginning. You stupid. Fellas, I really advise men not to even ask women this question because let's be real. They're never going to be 100% honest with you. Not the cap. And most women got a, a body count that that goes over double digits let's just be real and women understand this which is why she's advising women a lot you new to the platform man man my name is wrong please hit the um like comment please like comment and subscribe all that good jazz on the road to 100k man and look out for the unplugged traveler traveling vlog channel and my music all that's in the description See, what we have here is rules for thee and not for me. This is one of the things that I'm starting to notice lately is women trying to police everything a man should do while simultaneously trying to have all the freedom in the world to do what they want to do. And men are starting to wake up to that. <laughs> and that's why dating is pretty much a crap fest nowadays. On to the next clip the men to stitch this video and give your responses on what I'm about to say and give your answer as to why the women who aren't the gold diggers, the women who aren't materialistic, the women who genuinely want to get to know you for you and don't require you to pay for a simple conversation are the ones y'all feel you could give the bare minimum to and still get by. That doesn't make sense. And then to complain and turn around and say there aren't any genuine women left. Yes, they are. They're the ones that you're giving the least effort to. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I think the reason why that is is probably because these women probably aren't that physically desirable. I'm, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. There, I said it. I know some men are probably gonna be scared to say it, but I'm not. Now, she might be the exception. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, to each his own. Everybody got their different tastes. But. Honestly, I don't find her unattractive. She she seems pretty she seems pretty attractive. I, I would give her a pro I would probably give her a solid six, adjustable baby. You know what I mean? But this looks like her naturally and she and she looks decent. So I'll give her that. But in my honest opinion, I think it's just because the women that tend to treat you better or really good tend to be not so physically desirable. Versus if you look at the women that are most desired physically they tend not to be well let me put it to you like this and I, and i learned this from another um content creator i'm not gonna say his name because i really don't rock with him anymore but the more you know attractive women tend to be useful tend to be useless because they never had to be useful they always got attention from other men because of the way they look versus a woman who's probably a more on the average side she probably had to do a little bit more to get a man's attention. It's the reason why you always hear that saying that um that big that big girls give the best head. <laughs> I know some girls probably ain't gonna like me saying that, but it, it, it's true. I'm I'm telling you what a lot what most men are scared to tell y'all. So just keeping it a buck. Let's keep it moving. If you were making a hundred k a year, how much did he need to bring home? If I'm making a hundred k two millionaires or billionaires are better than one so i need him to make same amount or more i'm fine with that okay if you're making 100k a year how much does she need to bring home if i'm making 100k damn bro you better take bro, me for this 40 case damn bro you better take bro, me for this I'm... 40 case you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up Y'all heard it. <laughs> if I'm making 100K, 40K. Then look, I'm going to take her for 40K. Bruh. Come on now, bro. God damn. 60. 60? I like 60. Bruh. Sir. So, why do men value money differently than women? They have to be providers. They I have think different standards than women. 100%. They have different We standards. have a different standard. We have a different way of living. So, if if it's up to me and I'm bringing home 100K, and you bring it home 60, like girls would never, would a dude, let's say she's bringing home 100K, 
and I'm bringing home 40. She went with me. That's nice. That ass. That ass. Different standards for women versus men. Men and women, for whatever reason, on the women's terms, is different. Okay, so if y'all understand that, then why come when it comes to these other subjects, women are trying to find equality? See what I mean? They only want equality when it benefits them, fellas. Y'all gotta remember that. Notice how when he asked the man if he made 100K, bro, she wouldn't even let him answer that question himself. She was like, oh, nah, you're gonna accept me at 40K. Wait a minute, what the hell? Notice how that works. And women wonder why we don't care about y'all damn money. And we don't care about y'all damn independence. Because at the end of the day, that female biology is still ingrained in your brain to want a man that makes just as much, if not more than you. Otherwise, you can't respect them or you're not going to mess with them, just like he said here. So quit missing. Mm, man, so y'all really need to stop that. You stupid. That's annoying, bro. Men are tired of that. I'm like, I asked Minka that um, the other day on my live. Like, what's the deal with that? That does not make any sense to me. On to the next clip. So this study shows women find happy men the least attractive. In this study, there were male and female participants and they were each asked to rate the opposite sex on a scale of one to 10, based off the emotions that they displayed, such as happiness, pride, shame, and neutral. And these were the results. For men, happiness being displayed gave you the lowest rating. Pride gave you the highest. Shame was higher than happiness and higher than neutral. And just in case you thought it was because of those specific pictures, they use over 400 different photos. And they repeated the test several times and got the same results. This was the second sample. This was the third. And to highlight what men found most attractive, they rated happiness the most attractive and pride the least attractive on women. So what do you think about this? <laughs> Outstanding. Bro, the reason why I'm laughing because this confirms everything that I say about the dynamics between both genders, bro. Think about that. We find happy women more attractive. How many times did Kevin Samuels get on women about just smiling? You can't make this shit up. Imagine that. That don't that that just happens to go hand in hand. And they was hating on this man. Like he didn't know what he was talking about, but these results say otherwise. Asking for a smile was too much, but according to these studies right here, that's what men find attractive. Is a woman is a woman that looks like she's happy. That's what men find most attractive. And notice a man being happy was the least attractive for women. That's scary. That's scary. I'm going to be honest with you guys. That scared the hell out of me seeing that. Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, what is it about a man being happy that bothers a woman so much? For the women that watch my channel, please explain that to me. That does not make any sense to me. So you mean to tell me that a man that looks like he's happy, y'all don't find that attractive if he was just single out in the open doing him out in his own business? Fellas, y'all let me know what y'all think about this because that's weird to me. That's just weird. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. <laughs> if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the travel vlog, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.